NASA has pulled off another first of its kind type mission after a successful international asteroid sample exchange with the Japanese Space Agency. Xavier Walton talked to one of NASA's scientists about the mission and how it can help generations to come. Lift off on Apollo 11. It's not me walking around on the moon or anything, but it's, it is a different kind of space exploration. Christopher Sneed and his team at NASA, just an unbelievable round trip journey, have brought space to Space City. This tiny piece of an asteroid traveled more than 10 million miles back to Earth. And so these are windows back into time and they let us see exactly what happened, how planets were formed, and maybe how the original ingredients for life um, came to the surface. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> NASA, in collaboration with JAXA, the Japanese Space Agency, agreed to exchange return samples from each agency's asteroid mission. Here's video from the asteroid during JAXA's Hayabusa 2 project as samples were collected. People who haven't been born yet will be using instruments that haven't been invented yet to study these very samples that we received. The asteroid sample is so small, it's actually measured in milligrams, similar to something you might take if you have a headache, but... But that is several lifetimes worth of research. The research comes at a cost, we're talking millions, but when you ask Christopher about putting a price on a piece of rock, possibly revealing the secrets of the universe... The samples that we receive are priceless. These are national treasures that are more valuable than anything that we would have in Fort Knox. They're just really rare and precious and scientifically will just pay back dividends. As part of the exchange, NASA is giving JAXA some of its samples. After orbiting the sun twice, the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft will return to Earth on September 24th, 2023. Just under two years and that time flies. A historic exchange to get a glimpse. These samples will go on for decades. Of the past for future generations. That was very exciting for me. In Space City, Xavier Walton, KHOU 11 News. Now the asteroid sample from Japan is the largest ever curated at the Johnson Space Center, but in 2024, NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft is expected to return to Earth with an even larger sample. It's